So I'm going to demo a glitch attack on just a standard Android phone. Uh, so I have this little glitch adapter that's just a MOSFET that shorts the um, power line out of the system on a chip in the Android phone. So you can see this little wire here. Let me give you a photo of that. So that wire just goes to a capacitor with the core voltage of the SOC chip. So you can see it there connected to the capacitor. And I'll just short that out to insert the glitch into the system. All right, so there's that. And the glitch itself comes from my Chip Whisperer project here. So the FPGA generates a narrow glitch with adjustable width. And then that goes into the MOSFET, which then shorts the VCC power, which then gives us the glitch. So what am I glitching here? So I've just made a quite crappy Android application. You can see my first app, assume the default name there. Um, so the two buttons, start and stop. When I hit start, what you'll see is it just does a bunch of calculations and puts the results on the screen. So we want to affect the value of those calculations. So there, bam. All right, so what am I doing? All I have is there's two loops. There's an inner loop and an outer loop. Each loop runs 5,000 times and it increments the var a variable in the inner loop. So what you should see is that variable equals 25 million. So if I run that, you can see that it goes 5,000, 5,000, 25 million. So that's working normally. Um, it's doing the count and incrementing. So let me run that loop and insert a glitch. So you can see the power on the device as well. You can see that big spike there. And it did actually just crash the application. It's, it did nothing. Well, it didn't do any, nothing, but it didn't do what we want. So same thing, insert a glitch, and hey, look at that. The application ran entirely. It didn't crash the Android phone or anything, but the results were wrong. Um, so this type of glitch you can use for all sorts of stuff, uh, for bypassing authentication, for breaking crypto, and I can try this a whole bunch of times, and what you'll see is that where the wrong value comes in, will vary a bit, but it's only affecting one of those uh, those loops through. So there it crashed it, and we can try it again. So we'll just get it working normally. And then I'll insert a glitch. And look at that, again, the wrong calculation. So this is pretty cool, it's showing you how you can glitch just a off-the-shelf Android phone with a chip whisperer system.